My name is John Balkin and my solo show is entitled The Difference of What Is and What Is Not. In a way, the exhibition deals with personal limitations brought about by the pandemic, the lockdowns, the need to downsize my apartment. I've usually shot my blank canvas references outdoor, but I haven't had the chance to shoot outside again. So I started this exhibition painting an image that I've been keeping since 2018, which was a white square canvas hung on a wall that runs along the Tuazon Quezon City. The medium scale model is an installation that further highlighted the gallery's middle post by adding more of it in the form of three tongues. While making this show, I just had this recurring mental image of roots taking on the form of its spot. I couldn't really figure out why it was relevant or how it even really informed my current work. But I did remember fixating on how much the pot dictated the growth that moved inside of it. Ako po si Mars Bugawan. Ang title ng aking exhibition ay Touch Move. Madalas kailangan kong mapag-isa para iproseso kung anong tumatakbo sa isip ko. Ang touch move ay nagmula sa proseso ng paglalakad na naging pagmamasid, kalaunan ay naging pamumulot, pangongolekta at pag-iipon. Ito ay pagbuo ng mga kwentong gamit ng mga bagay na hindi ko inasahang mapasakamay ko. Ang bawat lugar na pinupuntahan ay may binibigay pabalik. Iba't ibang karanasan, enerhiya, pakiramdam, alaala, inspirasyon at marami pang iba. Sa practice ko bilang artist, na-incorporate ko yung paggamit ng found objects. Madalas wala akong kailangang baguhin sa kanila. Ang forma at itsura nila ay sapat na para makapagkwento. Gayun din ang gamit nila at kung saan ko sila nakuha. Hindi ko pinipressure yung sarili ko na may pupuntahan agad yung pangongolekta ko. Matyaga lang ako nag-aantay hanggang dumating ang tamang pagkakataon. Mabagal ang proseso, hindi nagmamadali. Organic, hindi planado. Hindi ko alam kung saan ako dadalhin. Ang mga bagay na napulot tulad ng alambre, yuping bakal, lumang frame ng salamin, trapal ay mga bagay na hindi madalas napapansin. Signifiers sila ng isang lugar na patuloy sa sistema ng buhay na nasa kalagitnaan ng di matapos-tapos na pagbuo at pagbabago. Ang touch move ay hindi lang koleksyon ng mga bagay, koleksyon din siya ng mga kahulugan at mga kwento. My name is Rocky Kahigan. My solo exhibition, Place of Origin, was presented at the Drawing Room in Makati City. This exhibition, Place of Origin, is an intimate study of land as body and is kind of a prompt into our dominance attitudes over the non-human. Place of Origin is a gathering of new and old projects the pieces also prompt consideration of the relationship between human beings and the non-human, showing the ruptures, dominance, and violence that often structures that relationship. Taken as a whole, Place of Origin asks the viewer to consider the sometimes uncomfortable process of humanization, of anthropization, and acted on a landscape, and conversely, the alienating effect when the objects of that process are reflected back to us. I am Sian Derit, presenting my work entitled The Austere Enclave, which was exhibited in Mono 8 last April. The project is essentially an interrogation of space, of understanding landscapes based on intersections of ecology and policy. How do laws and abstract iterations of power shape the earth and define how society functions? What is space shaped by neoliberalism? What do we see in these spaces? So this project focuses on two features that enable us to grasp these questions, large dams and monocrop plantations. I also wanted to extend the notion of landscape painting. So if large dams and plantations are features of colonial modernity, Perhaps a traditional artistic format of landscape painting can appropriately render the complex configuration wherein a politico-economic ideology actively terraforms landscapes, rendering them inalienable. 
the project challenges dominant notions of development and encourages the audiences to critically evaluate spaces shaped by inequality. Ako si Dr. Karayom at ang pyesa ko ay ang sariling sulok tungkol ko sa mga bagay-bagay na nasa loob ng pag-iisip natin. Uh, yung mga takot, yung mga iba't ibang pakiramdam na pinapakiramdaman natin. Pinaparamdam sa akin ng pyesa na tao din ako na minsan kailangan ko rin magpahinga. At minsan yung pyesa ayaw rin magpatapos, parang ganun siya. Nagpapakiramdaman kami ng pyesa ko kung, kung okay na ba siya, kung tapos na ba siya, kung uh, kinakausap ko siya habang ginagawa ko. Hahanapin mo yung sarili mong ikaw. So sa paghahanap mo sa sarili mong ikaw, sa loob mo, yun yung medyo nakakaligaw. At yung pagkaligaw na yun, yun yung magandang bagay kasi marami kang natututunan tsaka marami kang nadidiscover sa sarili mo na hindi mo pa nadidiscover. Tapos minsan yung pagdidiscover mo sa sarili mo, uh, makukuha mo yun sa mga kasama, nakakasama mo sa ginagawa mo. I'm Veronica Lazo. My show, William F. In Morris, was exhibited at Mona 8, January of 2022. The show basically reflects on contradictions on how we declare ourselves in space versus the cost and value of that expression. It's a commentary on ideas of progress and development and who gets to participate in that event. William Morris was a 19th century designer who was known for making intricate wallpapers and home furnishings only wealthy people could afford. But he was also a socialist who wanted to break down class divides. The pandemic definitely highlighted the stark contrast of who could endure lockdown comfortably at home and who couldn't. The show attempts to expose the very contradiction of what is now understood as private property. Between ideas of survival and shelter and care and luxury, lies nuanced stakes on how individualism breeds decadence. Hi, I'm Celine Lee. I'm a visual artist based here in Manila. My show, The Brightest Part, which was held at Mo Space last year, when I was invited to do a show in that space, I immediately asked myself how I could possibly fill it. So from there, I thought of combining both sculpture and painting to form an installation in which the framed prints are the objects while the lights act as a sort of pigment. So now, the brightest part is a sort of sequel to that show entitled The Length and Breadth of Depth. I now focus on the metaphor of shadows, like Plato's allegory of the cave. I wanted to give importance to all these elements that make up the projected shadows. The intention was to create these beautiful illusions of sunlight while revealing its trickery. How could I possibly fill the space? That itself seems as amorphous as the show appears to us. In this whole investigation of the notion of spaces, we're still sort of stuck in between two dimensions in some sort of limbo, like partially being uploaded and downloaded to web servers bit by bit, like in a constant state of buffering, going nowhere fast. My name is Veronica Peralejo and my exhibit, Collecting Fragments, is about my journey of healing and reparation. The pieces are hand-picked concrete rubble from construction sites wrapped in epoxy clay. I've always wanted to make a show about wrapping because for me, wrapping represents um, healing, mending, and tenderness. I see the concrete rubble as something that used to be whole and now they are these reimagined, unique objects on their own. These collected fragments are our emotions and experiences, which we need to process in order to move forward in life. For the past years, I've been working with concrete and other hardware materials, and it is always a fun process for me to um, transform the material into something more unconventional. As with all of my other works, I like that there's always room for introspection. 
uh, both for the artist, myself, and the viewers. Um, at the end of the day, these pieces are an exhaustion of an idea which stems from deep within my consciousness. So, it is the process is always therapeutic for me, and I hope that translates in the work as well. Hello, my name is Luis Antonio Santos. My work is about the fragility of memories and the concept of entropy and how we remember and how we forget and how this deterioration and uh, distortion and trauma affect how we see ourselves and our place in the world. I'm interested in exploring dichotomous relationships and the tension within contradictions. The works in the show, being both object and image, invites and requires the viewer to experience both the imageness and objectness of the works. I have fondness of using materials and objects that are so commonplace that they are essentially invisible. I like this play of visibility with my works, a loss of information and the transience of an image. There is a sense of grief, loss and displacement that hovered around with the works, reflecting the feeling we all had during those days. The exhibit became a reflection of the universal struggles we all had, trapped in a perpetual now without a clear path forward. I am Joey Alexis Singh. I am Jim Lumbera. And the title of our exhibition is The Black Dog Which Causes Cholera and the Two Memorials of Plague. The document namin yung local community sa pamagitan ng pagtrace sa isang oral Filipino account mula noong 1900s na merong isang itim na aso na nagsinhi ng cholera epidemic. Nagkaroon ng pandemya, um, sinubukan namin i-document ang panahong ito sa so, pamagitan nga sa paniniwala na kung bumalik ang itim na aso, uh, sinunda namin. Sinunda namin dahil yun lang yung mga aso ang makikita mo, yun lang yung imaheng makikita mo sa kalsada. Ang alaala nila na to ay hindi lang bastas dun sa imahe ng aso, kundi nandun din sa imahe ng kung ano yun nasa landscape nila. Yung landscape na merong mga puno, landscape na merong sumabog na bulkan, at yung merong mga lumubog na bayan sa ilalim ng lawa na hindi na nila nakikita ngayon, pero nasa isip lang pa rin nila. Sa loob ng panahon na to, nakakita tayo ng iba't ibang takot, tapos tayo din mismo, kami din mismo, naragdaman namin ng takot na rin. Tapos sa panahon na nakakaramdam ka ng takot, ay naghahanap ka lang ng isang imahe, o ng iba't ibang imahe, iba't ibang manifest manifestation ng imahe, na paniniwalaan mo. Tapos, itong imahe na ito ay sasalitain mo lang din at sasabihin mo sa ibang tao para makita nila kung ano yung sinasabi mo. Ako si Tecla Tamoria. So, yung sixth solo show ko na Kilipinang tao na hopo sa Metabe. Hopo siya ng anim na tarbaho. Yung buong show na to, ginawa ko siya yung pandemya. Tapos parang experiential siya, hindi lang siya exhibit na isang upuan. Para siyang culmination ng experience ko during the pandemic at post-pandemic. Kaya kiliti eh, parang yung natutuwa ka dahil naalala mo yung mga bagay-bagay. Um, dun sa solo show kong to, um, ngayon na since nagawa ko na siya, yung, ang nare-reflect ko dun is masaya akong na-produce siya kasi yun yung para sa akin yung exhibition ko na Napakita ko yung naging reflection din ng experience na naobserbahan ko ng sarili ko, ng pamilya ko, ng ibang tao nung panahon ng pandemic. Kasi ngayon din, parang since dahil mabilis ang oras, parang damo ngayon yung new normal is laos na. So parang yun yung ngayon na inisip ko na masaya akong nagawa yung show last year. Ako si Vian Valencia. Um, exhibit na Your Age, My Age, and the Age of the River ay uh, isang collaboration with the Dumagat community sa Tinipak River sa Daraitan, Rizal. Dito sa lugar na to, nagsimulang magtayo na isang dam na kung saan merong threat na isubmerge yung kanilang community kasama na yung Tinipak River. Bilang artist, Nakipag-collaborate ako sa kanila nitong 2023 lang, February. Uh, pumunta ako doon sa Pak River at introduce ko yung frotage. Yung frotage ay isang process kung saan binabakat natin yung texture ng isang object or material para i-record yung kanyang marka. 
Uh, proseso na to, hindi lang natin nire-record o dinodocument yung landscape ng mga rock formations. Kung hindi, pati na rin yung kultura nila, yung during the process, yung ala-ala namin, na conversations namin nung nag propage kami. So, during the process, nabibreak yung generational boundary, kasama lahat sa conversation. Nandun yung inclusivity. At yung isa sa pinakamahalagang natutunan ko dito is that art empowers communities and art makes communities powerful.